You know, I'm a Midwesterner, so I got to pull for the tribe uh, against the Sox. Yeah, I know tomorrow at 10 a.m. the tickets go on sale. And I, I, could, I just I can't even believe you folks are here. Look, when people wait in line for tickets online, isn't that called a cyber queue? It's no that is. I don't know. I'm just little, trying to stay organized. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. You go. Know? One step at a time, brother. Yeah, I'm waiting for something to turn up. That isn't here yet. I found it. Well done, brave warrior. But for those of you interested in such things, the score was three to two, Boston. What's this? I heard a six to two, and I was like, oh. "We can't, we can't let Big Poppy get in there again. That guy's so arrogant." We need a hum humble young team, you know. That's what we need. We were, it was really great. When we got off the plane, uh, we went to that, I think it's, it's a little Circle K. It's the only thing they have at DIA. You know, it's like, how did they, who, who got that deal? I won't know. Because everybody's bringing the rental cars back, and there's always oh, a big line to get gas and stuff, and you go in, but the people that work there are like, hey, welcome, come on in. They're always in a good mood because they're just making money. And they're just printing cash up in that joint, okay? So we walk in there, and there's this really sunny, just beautiful woman behind the counter, and she's sitting there, and the coach of the Rockies is buying the paper. I shit you not. <laughs> and we're standing there, and two guys behind me, they, they ID him, and they're like, that's the coach, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they instantly go into sycophant rock star kind of <laughs> behavior, which I really love. Because I, I do the same thing, you know? If I saw like Cecil Cooper or something, I, I'd be like, what's up, Coop? <laughs> Get jello language, you know. So anyway, he's buying a paper and he takes the insert out of the paper that's got the whole Rockies lineup and the whole you guys saw that special insert, right? Mm -hmm. And he pulls that out and puts it on the counter and goes, I really won't need this. And the woman goes, Oh, sir, you should have that. That's all about the Rockies. <laughs> that's just it's a fantastic thing for you to have. And, and so she tucks it back into the paper and he's like, all right, I guess I'll take it. And it's just really great. So as he's leaving, the two guys go, sup, coach? You know, like, like really geeky Republicans, you know? Like the coach, like, coach, what's up? Democrats are the same way. Anyway, but that was a great moment for me. You know? like, I'll take some chiclets, man. I didn't, I'll leave the insert in mine, because I, I didn't know. Was, she was so embarrassed. She was like, that's a good These guys wouldn't let her hear the end of it. It was really fun. So go Rockies, you know? And I think you guys have a better chance if it's Cleveland. I really do. Because, you know, a fresh series against Boston. People from Boston are mean. They're mean. Mean, mean, mean. But if they get out here in that altitude, they're like, <sighs> <laughs> Big poppy my ass, you'll be like, get the oxygen! <laughs> Game postponed due to asthma attack. <laughs> Digging into some t-ball at my house, so and that's the cool thing. If you get disenchanted or just kind of bummed out about the way that you know big league sports are going, you're playing with a kid, you know, and it's just sort of like the first ball that goes out of, out of the field or 
first kid that drops that routine fly ball. You know, you see that? That's like worthy of tears and stuff, and that's where the core of the game, that's where the game's really alive for me. <laughs> Maybe not the tear part, but you know. <laughs> the first time my son connected with that t-ball thing, that wiffle ball, it's just like, <laughs> and the thing comes right at me. <laughs> <laughs> I crushed one! You know, like, I am filling him up with a lot of vernacular that's not going to serve him in life, but that's all right. Sometimes I live. 